You know, I've read of some pretty amazing proposals over the years. I've seen actually quite a few myself. We were over in Jerusalem uh, not long ago in Israel, and, and one of the young guys in our trip wanted to propose to this girl. They've been engaged, or not engaged actually, they've just been boyfriend, girlfriend for quite a long time, and he's one of our youth pastors, and so he asked me if at the end of my message he could propose to her in front of the group of 300 plus people where on the Mount of Beatitudes, I agreed to it, and, and he's leading worship, and then I called her up. She didn't know what's going on. Her name was Michelle. His name is Aaron. And he gets down on one knee, and I'm standing right there, and I'm just thinking, please say yes. Because this, <laughs> if she says no, this guy's just toast. I mean, he's putting it all on the line. And of course, she wet cried and, and said yes, and it was wonderful. Some people try to be more creative. Uh, I actually read about a guy, this is not a joke, he's a stuntman. He wanted to make a proposal and there was a party. So he lit himself on fire uh, and then landed in the pool and got out of the water and dropped down on one knee and said to the woman, I'm on fire for you. Will you marry me? And she said, yes. I read about a guy who was an ad executive. He wanted to make a big impression with his proposal. So he decided to buy an ad during the Super Bowl which I think at that particular time was $1.5 million. He publicized it, hoping to raise the money. Uh, People wanted to help me. He was only able to raise $85,000, so he had to settle for local television. So in the middle of her favorite broadcast, a commercial came on where he's proposing marriage to her. I, I wasn't so dramatic in my proposal. In fact, my wife says, you know, I don't think you actually ever proposed to me properly. And I said, well, I don't really remember. She said, what you said, we were just talking, and you said to me, well, I guess we're probably going to get married, huh? I thought, that's pretty lame, isn't it? You know, one of the fears a guy has, and some girls, is when they propose, there is the chance a person might say no. Who wants to be rejected? And I'm using this as sort of a way to think about popping the question when it comes to asking someone, would you like to accept Jesus Christ right now? You know, I think deep down inside we might be more afraid that they will say yes than no. Well, now what do we do? I already told you the story about that time I was able to pray with that lady on the beach and I had not prepared for success. I was fully prepared for failure. 